every green buggy operator understands that. You get the worst of both of the ends of the world. You're either not there, you're behind, they're yelling at you to keep up, you're unloading at trucks. It's a stressful job. You are now watching Farming with Duffy Ag. Welcome back to the channel. So before we dive into today's video, let's go over a few things. All those spam messages are not me. I don't have a telegram. I don't know what that is actually. So a bunch of people message me saying, hey, we got your message, blah, blah, blah. I'm not going to reach out to anybody in, in a mass form and say all sorts of things. I'll send you an email, shoot you a text, stuff like that. But yeah, so I did report all that. Um, Okay, that's the first thing. Second thing, a lot of people said, why didn't you pull the manure pump in the previous video with a pickup? That thing is long. It's awkward on tongue weight. Um, going down hills and stuff like that, pulling behind a pickup, really, like I wouldn't tow that thing down the road at 50 miles an hour behind a pickup. Maybe a semi, but it it's quite a pump. So that is why it stayed on the back of the tractor. It didn't make much more sense. Um, then the other thing is, I made a comment of, we're not in the Midwest conditions. Midwest conditions, I mean, are much better off than Northeast as far as growing crops. So everybody said, you don't know anything about the Midwest then if you think that we have great conditions. Um, the growing season up here is like 75 to 90 day corn, really. Midwest, you're at what 100, 115, so it's a much different conditions. That's why I said that comment. So relax, everybody, because I have been to the Midwest. We have hung out, have seen stuff. So, alrighty, we're gonna dive into today's video. Appreciate you guys watching along. Go time! Look at them. We got Mac in there. We're gonna go combine some corn. You ready to go? We're not going in that. We are on the move. So like I said previously, this is some farming some bitch memorabilia right here. Yeah. We're uh, big timing it. So it would have been two years ago. His other one blew apart. We actually went and we went and me and Colburn went on a Adventure, Midwest Adventure, went out, got the transmission, got the fertilizer tender, saw WI Millers and Sons in Ohio. That was some sweet time. So if you haven't watched, go watch the WI Miller and Sons. I'll put it at the end of this video. Probably one of my favorite videos that I ever made as far as action content. Um, yeah, Yanko's revved up. He wants to be in the combine or something. We'll get moving. Buddy rider, you're fine. Little sketchy here, as you see, he's sneaking over it. That is why he can't get a bigger head or a bigger planter without it being able to fold or do something different. Let him get off first. There we go. A little tight. All revved up. Evan gonna get right into some corn now. Let's put a line of cars behind us, but we weren't on the main road for that long. We'll back up and sneak in there, then we'll be off the road. Let him get going that way. If he has an issue, he can back himself out still. So there's a lot of names of the grain buggy setups, but pretty much every grain buggy operator understands that. You get the worst of both of the ends of the world. You're either not there, you're behind, they're yelling at you to keep up, you're unloading at trucks. It's a stressful job. So Hellcatcher, I'm gonna go with that and 
Yeah, that's a well-known term for a green buggy operator because they get they catch hell at every aspect. So, Cassandra just showed up. She's uh, actually my drone's in there. So we'll see what we get into here. He's got this one, that one. Having trucks and everything else will be his big thing. Plus the mill's closed, but tomorrow the mill is open, so he's gonna load what he can. What are you looking for? Uh, Kernels? So, when you check behind the combine, you're looking for anything that's not completely taken off. Yeah, you can have that one. Um, or cleaned up. You want, look for kernels that have made it through the combine. So, here's one. But in this square, like a foot square here, there's one and there's one of half kernel there. So, yeah. That way you know you're not throwing your profits out the rear of the combine and you know your combine's actually cleaning it well. This corn, pretty good. Pretty good indeed. So, they had some really, really good weather. They got the rain when they needed it and whatnot. Granted, this fall has been wet for them as you saw when we were chopping but overall hopefully Evan has a good year he's all filled up now and he's offloaded into me truck sitting up on the road we'll go down the road a little bit and offload this but yeah. bin fills up you got those bin extensions on there but we're moving we're freaking farming! So the point of this buggy is just to keep that combine moving. When a truck shows up, have more capacity to be able to fill it quickly, so...
I think I'll take one more load from him and then we'll go down the road. That way we're not unloading on the main road and yeah, it could be bad. So when he comes back up this way, I'll jump in, take what he's got and then we'll be on to the next one. Pretty good sample. A little bit of cob, Evan. A little bit, but not bad. Tony Reed could probably teach you something about this, you know. He did talk about leveling your uh, concaves the other day on the World Wide Web. And, well, if you don't know Tony Reed, yeah, he's, uh, he's got some interesting uh, mindsets and loves to stir the pot. And yeah, you gotta be, you gotta be creative and interesting in the world. Nobody likes a boring person. I'll be honest, I came up there, locked four wheel drive in, diff lock on, spinning and grabbing, pulling up out of there. Got onto the pavement and it finally grabbed hook. And we got some weight to us. I don't know how big this cart actually is. We'll ask Kevin, but truck's up the road here. Run up there, get them loaded quick, get back. We're broke down. I didn't even start combine or unloading. We realized. That's bent. See how it should be in the middle? So it's jamming together. So it's gotta be heated and straightened. And the combine needs a bolt, right? Farm on Sunday. Breaks on you. Breaks on everybody. So we did heat that up and we straightened it back out cause it was bent back and it was binding and grabbing. And we're gonna give it a go. Got it fixed, now we're unloading. Woo, always something. So it was just bent there enough. So I'll have to get a new piece right there. Well, it's got it open somewhat on the door. Evan had a broken bolt, we got that fixed up. And uh, gonna finish up here. So we're actually moving along now. The weather held off. Making some progress, so I was able to get the drone up. You guys can see some of that action. So, machine, it's a 2188, um, six row head. Yeah. I forget what they used to have before, what their other machine was way back, but we'll ask Evan. I think he got that out of Louisiana or somewhere down south. Loading the wagon. Yep, it's full. I don't know how many bushels actually fit on that. We're gonna see tomorrow because we're gonna drop that load off. Um, actually, we're bringing it to the mill tonight, I think. Then we'll get picked up. That way, it's in line, ready to go, ready to get dropped off. Um, and we gotta bring some straw down tomorrow, I think. He was just gonna finish up that uh, field there, and then we'll be on the move. Well, they're perked up for the first day of corn harvest, right? Well, combine. Combine. <laughs> how, how, do, how do you think it went, other than two out of the three things breaking down? Pretty good, you like the corn? Wasn't too bad. 
Good talks. For the money you pay for it, it should be like three times as much, but hey, whatever. Well, you gotta buy better stuff, I think. Bob's gotta hook you up. That was top of the line stuff. Was it? Finished up combining for the day. We will see what goes on in the next video. We gotta hit the mill. Hopefully the weather holds off, but mm, you know, we'll see. So appreciate you guys watching along and we'll see you on the next one.